we just enjoyed life so much. And um, it was kind of the, the dream family. We had four kids. They were all doing great. Uh, our two older daughters had graduated from college. And actually, a week before, we were at my daughter's college where she was graduating. And I just looked down the row, and I just felt so blessed. I felt so proud. Everything just seemed so perfect. She just was in awe of, of this family that God had given us. And then suddenly, I just started feeling like a panic feeling. And she even said, please, Lord, don't let anything happen. Please, Lord, don't let anything happen to any of my children. It was just five days later that Melissa was killed. And I went to Grief Share and they had so many resources for us. And I felt that it was a safe place that I could go and I could tell my story and I could cry and I could even laugh and I didn't feel guilty or judged by anybody else. Trust is probably the hardest thing that I have trouble with. How do you trust him and not feel like God's going to take another child, and now we've got grandchildren in the picture, is something going to happen to somebody? Trusting God is more real now than before. Our job now is to cling to God, trust him, understand that he is sovereign and in control. I hurt every day for Melissa being gone, but I can't bring her back. I'm never gonna see her again, that hurts. I'm never gonna throw a softball with her again or, or hug her or hear her come home and say, it's all good, which is one of her favorite sayings. So it hurts like everything to have her gone. But then he knew what he was doing and we still love him. And if we can have that be the message and God be glorified through this tragedy, then as much as it hurts, we're gonna, we're gonna be good with it. To find a Grief Share group meeting online or near you, or to learn more, visit griefshare.org.